We have a fascinating new glimpse tonight of the moon captured by landers that is still showing signs of life despite being written off. And as Garrett Berry tells us, the fresh perspective was captured with Canadian tech. You're looking out of the lens of a Canadian-made camera. Most of the images you've seen, if not all of them, uh, from Intuita machines uh, that look sort of like a, like a round globe have come from our cameras. Technology designed in Toronto has made the long and difficult trip to the moon. Finding a solution that can do all that has electronics to survive the temperature that won't get fried going through the radiation belts and can withstand a very tough launch environment. Canadensis supplied seven cameras in total for the IM-1 mission. And because of today's news, that Odysseus will soon sleep but may come back to life in a few weeks, the company was still busy today in their own mission operations room. For the ILOX, uh, for, for that imaging system, our role has been to uh, create all the scripts. So turning on and off the camera, how long you're going to image it for, where you're going to store the data, how you're going to move the data from the camera to the lander, um, looking at all the images once they come down. They hope to have their cameras on the very first lunar observatory. Part of their role in the current Odysseus mission was to test those cameras in harsh space conditions. There's a second Canadian company, MDA, that supplied for this mission too. NASA's new model of partnering with private companies is allowing some Canadians to get in on the action. Um, but it's also just, you know, Canada really standing up and saying, like, we are here to, you know, not only just be part of the, uh, you know, exploration in space, uh, but to also lead the way. With astronaut Jeremy Hansen set to become the first Canadian to fly by the moon on the upcoming Artemis II mission, it's an exciting time for our country's space industry. Gear Perry, CTV News, St. John's.